I love this feature. Uh, extremely useful, very practical. Okay, bigger picture, zooming out. It is a safe guess we are going to see more AI tools, utilities like this in Shopify. Are we going to see more testing tools? Shopify Winner 26 Edition had all kinds of wins in it, but two particular features that I want to dive deep on. And one definitely very exciting to me, and the other I have to know more about rollouts and SimGym. SimGym, I'm not quite sure what it does. That's okay. We'll find out. Rollouts, I am beyond thrilled for, with this. Native A-B testing coming to your Shopify admin. That's what I took away from it, but we're going to find out if I got it right because we are lucky today. We're going to be picking the brain of Aaron Glazer, product lead at Shopify, who has worked on these features, right? Who knows them and who's going to explain them to us. Aaron Glazer, welcome to the show. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled you're here. All right, tell me about rollouts. This is native split testing. So rollouts encompasses a few different capabilities for merchants, uh, all in one. So one part of it is native split testing directly built into Shopify, allowing merchants to go in and test changes within their online storefront or within their themes directly and roll out multiple versions of the same storefront to merchants and then measure the impact of those changes directly within their Shopify admin. I love it. It's bringing amazing capabilities for merchants to make really informed decisions, but like right inside of their core workflow. I was gonna say, you know, what's the benefit here? If you're not familiar with split testing, you have the data. You can now make a much more confident decision around something that's very subjective. Web design, an online store, it feels extremely subjective, right? Because it's so design focused. Finally being able to have show both, you know, both versions of something to your customers or more, it sounds like, and know, you know with statistical significance, oh, this is the one that performs better. This is the one that does the thing that we want better. That's quite incredible and quite empowering as a business owner with a website, you know, that, that you rely on for these sales. It's really about helping merchants become more informed, helping them make more bold decisions and, and applying the data behind the scenes and allowing them to take risks and then measure the value of those risks. Okay, with our split testing, with rollouts, I have not played with this. I have not seen it. What What is the format that this takes in my store? Am I you know, split testing two themes, two sections? Like, what is what's it look like? So the version of uh, or the release of rollouts that we've launched at Winter Editions allows you to go in and leverage your individual theme and make changes right within an individual theme. And then within that theme, you're able to split test. So basically test the original version of your theme and any changes you've made to your theme directly out to your buyer audience. Excellent. And so assuming like this all is within the theme editor. It's all within the theme editor. So now there's rollouts is, is on the uh, on the admin panel. So you'll be able to access it from within the markets tab in the admin homepage. And then you'll be able to go in there and start creating rollouts. Now, rollouts are more than just split tests. So part of what's being uh, delivered within the capability of rollouts is split testing. But another part is actually the capability to schedule and change your storefront at specific times. So you'll be able to go in and say at, you know, at a specific time, uh, date and time, I want to go and launch this new storefront or I want to launch this new change or in the future being able to launch it with catalog changes or other parts of the admin. Schedule them to go live at a certain time and then potentially, you know, stay live forever or go live and then be turned off, for example, in a periodic or a sale. I love this feature. Uh, extremely useful. Very practical. Let's say I have a sale. Typically, these sales start at midnight, and I've got changes in the theme, like at my homepage, my announcement bar, you know, featured collections. Things are the content has to change to inform people of the sale. Look, I go to bed early. I am a sleepy baby. I I'm not getting up at midnight to click publish on a theme. You're telling me I could just do the have rollouts. This feature will just do this for me. We're gonna protect your sleep, so you'll be able to go and <laughs> schedule it. You're gonna sleep very well. Um, you'll be able to go in and schedule it. Schedule the changes you want to make and then have them automatically rolled out at the precise time that you select. Excellent. And then at the end of the sale, it sounds like I can undo it. I could schedule like, hey, change it, change it back, change it to something else. Exactly. You know, some sales are temporary, so you can go in, for example, schedule a change to your theme that's, that's contextual around the sale that you're trying to make, and then have it automatically 
uh, roll back. What metrics do we track here in our split test? Like with a split test, you know, there has to be a goal that it's keeping track of. What are our options here? So you'll have a set of capabilities or a set of options that are available. It's all built into the native analytics uh, platform that you're used to. So there are specific results pages designed for uh, just rollouts. And in the future, we're going to be allowing you to, to measure that even more broadly within the analytics homepage that you're used to. I'm excited to use it. Like, <laughs> I desperately want to try this and run a split test. When's it going to be available? It's going to be available uh, right now, or it is available right now. But available now uh, to who? Uh, it's available to uh, an early access group of merchants, and then it's going to be rolling out more broadly in the coming weeks. Excellent. Okay. I am going to keep an eye out for it. I cannot wait to test it. Okay. Sim gym. Not, not a, a gym for our sims. What is it? So Sim Gym is a new app, and we're releasing it as an AI research preview. Uh, it's being launched as part of Winter Editions. And it's a really unique application of AI. And our, our whole Winter Editions, the theme is Renaissance, Ren ai Sans. And so Sim Gym is right along the lines of that. And we're, we're using AI to help train AI agents to have human-like profiles that are able to simulate shopper behavior on your storefront that are reflective of actual shoppers that you might get to your storefront. This sounds like science fiction. You know, it, it's, it's an, it, technology is moving so fast and it's amazing what we can do. Now, obviously humans are never gonna be fully replicated by machines. So what this does is it simulates some of the feedback that you would get from humans um, based on your storefront. And you're able to conduct similar sorts of simulations of one theme versus another theme and see what your human-like agents might provide feedback. All in the same vein as of actually running split tests to help you understand and learn and grow and, and, and be bold. So this is like user testing, except an AI agent does it and then it, at the end it gives me actionable insights? Yeah, it's, it's not fully testing because testing is, is very much around the quantitative data of human buyers. But what it does is it simulates um, some of those results and it tries to get you some of the learnings that you would get through human uh, split testing. Interesting. I got to play with this. Yeah. And the, the amazing part about it is, you know, as a brand, every 26 seconds, an entrepreneur makes their first sale on Shopify. So as we're building these products, we're also thinking about there's an every 26 seconds, there's a new merchant that just had their first sale. And how can we help them grow and learn and, and ship changes with the confidence of a high traffic brand, but, you know, maybe they, they're just starting out or they're early on their journey as an entrepreneur. So what we're able to do with SimGym is provide them some of that background, some of that information that they wouldn't otherwise get, develop those learnings or help them develop the learnings through simulations that are run in SimGym. And then they can take that forward and, and continue growing even faster. Are these complementary products? Like it, the reality of split testing is it, it requires quite a bit of traffic to reach that statistical significance. And if I don't have a ton, it could be, you know, I'm running this test forever. It feels like it could be frustrating. And so SimGym, like this complementary product to get me those insights. And then later I move to, you know, using a tool like rollouts once I have experienced, you know, confidence, et cetera. Yeah, depending if, if you don't have a lot of traffic, like a scenario like that, that's where something we're able to go and simulate within SimGym is, is absolutely like hugely beneficial. So what if it, my AI shoppers, do we call them Sims? Probably not. My, sim, my, my AI shoppers, what are they actually doing? Like click scrolling, purchasing? They're going and using uh, your store. They're, they're trying to replicate sort of the, the broad swath of how your, uh, your buyers or your shoppers use your storefront. And so they're, we're trying to simulate um, you know, it's, it's really about simulation as opposed to like really testing, but we're trying to simulate what those shoppers will do on your storefront to provide you data and learnings and even understand the feedback as shoppers go and use your store or AI shoppers go and use your store. So what's that, like, what, what's the output of this thing look like? Give, you know, I haven't, I've not played with it yet. Um, but what's that, what format does that take? You know, like a report of actionable Insights, I'm guessing. You tell me. Yeah, it's a report of actionable insights, feedback from the different uh, AI shoppers during the simulation, and, and real learnings that you're getting from it based on what they saw between uh, two different themes that you might be trying out within simulators. Oh, it, wait, it'll do comparisons. And so it'll, be, it'll, it'll allow you to compare the two different themes. So you can basically go in and give it your current storefront and say, hey, I'm working on this new idea. 
Um, maybe it's a new product detail page or a new home page um, and test those two different uh, changes to those two different storefronts as a simulation. And then as it runs, it'll deploy agents. It'll train them, deploy them on your storefront, use those two different themes, and then give you a report back on what was the difference. What did the agents find or not find? What are the learnings and the actionable, actionable takeaways you can have from it? Give me an example. Uh, running on some of my, my own uh, stores, I've seen some feedback from agents where it found it difficult to find certain products in some cases. Oh, so that's like a task it might attempt? Like I'm going to go try and look for a particular product? In some cases, it might try to do that, but it, it might find it difficult to navigate through uh, my storefront. It might provide me feedback in one version versus another. So for example, if, it, if it's a storefront that has a many, uh, like a large uh, list of products in a collection, um, it might provide feedback that it's really hard to page through that list and adding a filter might, might be beneficial so that you can quickly filter products. Okay, I know I was excited about rollouts before. <laughs> now I want to play with this one now. This is the thing I need to play with. They both have their own, uh, their own set of uses. You know, rollouts is really around helping you schedule and change and, then, and also run split tests and do that and, and bring it out to humans and, and add it out externally to the world. Whereas SimGym is, is, is really about helping you learn and understand and do it very quickly and iteratively. It's just the idea that SimGym could give me these, you know, could test these scenarios and then give me actionable insights off them. Really quite incredible. I'm very interested in that. Like we've seen similar but less actionable, like less direct versions of this. Like I could, I could take a heat, I could screenshot a heat map and I can hand it to an AI that I've attempted to explain best practice to. And then, you know, it's going to come back with like, if I'm lucky, half of that suggestion those suggestions are, are decent. This case sounds, you know, much more purpose-driven, much better trained, like better fit to the scenario. So I'm imagining it gets better results. Our simulated shoppers, our AI shoppers, are they, you know, are they looking at screenshots of the site or is this more like an agent actively navigating a site or am I going too deep in the weeds? No, no, it's, it's an agent actively navigating the site. Um, Oh wow! And, and you know we're we're able to build these agents using the the information that we have at Shopify, having the benefit of seeing billions of purchases every year. So these personas can start start um, bringing some of that behavior uh, forwards, and then as they're navigating the site, can start replicating some of that information and and allow us to tune the models and tune the agents in a way that provides that actionable actionable feedback. That's also tuned for the individual store that's being. Uh, being used in the simulator. Okay, that was going to be uh, another thing I was wondering. Is there like a single agent shopper that does all this work? Or do they have personas? Do I have any input as the, the merchant into these agents? Yeah, you don't have any input, but they end up, it, it ends up operating as sort of teams of agents um, that can go in with different profiles. Again, it representative of the, the variety of shoppers that you actually have. Um, that are using your storefront to provide that that holistic feedback as much as we can. Man, that's really cool. Yeah, we're you know we're we're super excited. We're launching it as a research preview. Um, it is, I think, one of the first products of this kind, if not the first that that is um, able to provide this kind of information, and built on top of the the billions of purchases every year within the platform to provide really interesting and, and uh, actionable insights. Sim Jim is in research preview. How do I how do I get to it? So you can you can download the Sim Gym app from the Shopify App Store. There's a wait list. Demand is so high for it, um, but we're slowly letting I imagine. merchants. Yes, yeah, so we're but we're slowly letting, letting merchants in. So best thing to do is download shop the Shopify Sim Gym app from the App Store. Okay, yeah, and absolutely, we'll link to that in the show notes, or of course, just type you know, search Sim Gym uh, in your Shopify admin, make your life easier. What's the learning curve on this? Like some tools are are more technical than others. This this is designed to be totally non-technical. All that you need to do with SimGym is is really bring two different versions of a theme um, and allow it to go and test out your current theme and something new. That's very cool. So SimGym rollouts, you know, both helping us reach the same outcome. Better website, more confidence. Excellent. Uh, easier to run a business that way. And within our Shopify themes, I would imagine, you know, I need online store 2.0. I need sections. I need, is there a particular, do I have to have a horizons theme? 
you know, wh what are my limitations here? Yeah, you have to be right now, you have to be using online store um, and then have uh, themes within your online store to test from. Well, very straightforward. I would imagine most of us do. <laughs> We've tried to make it as easy to use and accessible as possible so that merchants can just get in there and, and start using it and start learning from it. Okay, bigger picture, zooming out, it is a safe guess we are going to see more AI tools, utilities like this in Shopify. Are we going to see more testing tools? I think we're going to continue to see an expansion of the capabilities we're bringing out here. I think we're just scratching the surface on what you'll be able to do with the different products that we're bringing out, like Rollouts and SimGym. And we're going to keep building on top of that. So it's, uh, it's, it's going to be really exciting in terms of what's available to merchants. You know, we've got listeners, they're also hopefully excited about this. What's one test they should run? The one piece of advice I would give is that think, think big picture. So look at your buyer funnel in terms of where your drop-offs are. Typically, you'll have like a really big drop-off on your landing page. Um, it could be your bounce rate. So I would suggest start testing on the, the parts of your, your storefront that have the largest amount of traffic and then go piece by piece down there as opposed to trying to test something that is rarely seen or a really small uh, part of the funnel, which can be a very critical piece of the funnel, but the traffic is lower. So it takes a lot longer to learn from it. So I'd say if you're just starting out on your journey, Start big picture. Try the hero banner on your homepage, for example. Excellent advice. I agree. The I have found consistently bigger changes lead to you know faster conclusive results and tests. Yeah, I think it, the classic split test is I like well, what button color? Well, it turns out that actually that's a very difficult test to run because it's it's a too small and finite and subjective a change. Whereas you know much bigger changes, you know being bold as you've said that's you know, where you really have much better results with split testing is like, let's try two very different things in different directions and see which, which our customers prefer, what resonates, what works better. Okay, any mistakes, any gotchas people should avoid going into this? Nothing offhand. I think, you know, we've tried to really make these products to be as accessible to use as possible. Um, so if there are, then I, I want to know about it because we've, we've made a mistake on our end, but we'd love to hear the feedback from merchants who are going in and using it. All right, tell me how I get started. Where do I go? What do I do? Yeah, just go into your Shopify admin, click on markets in the, the left bar, the left nav bar, and then click roll it, and then create a new roll it and get started. I'm going to try it right now. I will attempt it. Aaron Glazer, product lead at Shopify. Thank you so much. I am so excited. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.